Perhaps you stumbled upon this video because you were considering adding a small dog to your home. Shih Tzus are popular dogs due to their adorable size and friendly personality. However, like all dogs, they have certain needs and attitudes that make them incompatible with your home. So, for today's video, we'll talk about the 8 reasons Shih Tzu might just be the worst dog breed. Shih Tzu currently sits at 22nd for the most popular dog breed recognized by the American Kennel Club in 2021. Loving, jolly, and playful, these pups are packed with a lot of personalities in their small bodies. They are companion dogs who are the happiest when they get to spend time with their humans. Because they are small, owners can easily carry them for travels, errands, and trips. But what could be the possible reasons why this breed is not for you? In a while, we'll talk about those things, so make sure to stay with us. Hey there, and welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you're looking for a channel that features dog-related stuff every day, then you're on the right track. So make sure to subscribe to our channel. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, today we'll talk about 8 reasons Shih Tzu might just be the worst dog breed. So, let's get started right away. Number 1. Shih Tzus have extensive grooming needs. Shih Tzus are known for their silky, long, gorgeous coats. Although they are low shedders, daily brushing is a must for this breed to keep their hair in its best condition. Otherwise, their fur may form mats and tangles, which can be painful for them and can even cause skin problems. Other grooming needs include bathing your Shih Tzu every 3-4 to four weeks to remove bad odor, dirt, and debris that may be stuck on their hair. Trim their nails once it gets too long and don't forget to brush their teeth as often as you can to prevent bacteria buildup. When brushing, you should also check their eyes, ears, and skin for any signs of infection. Number 2. Shih Tzus are prone to sensitive stomachs. Shih Tzus have delicate stomachs, which means you have to provide them with a balanced, complete, and high-quality diet only. Opt for fresh dog meals using real meat with minimal to no additives and extenders. Usually, high-quality meals can be costly. So prepare to spend a lot on your Shih Tzu's food to ensure that he stays healthy. To know what and how much to feed your dog, you can consult your dog's veterinarian or nutritionist. Number 3. Shih Tzus are stubborn. It is common for small dog breeds to be stubborn, and Shih Tzus are not an exception. Although they are charming and friendly, these dogs can also be strong-willed and bossy. If you didn't start house training and obedience training at an early age, they may develop bad behaviors which can bring trouble later on. Some may even try to manipulate their owners using their adorable faces. So if you're not firm and consistent with the training and will easily give in to their requests, then they will take the role of the leader of the household. That said, as soon as you take them home, Make sure that they know that you are the alpha. These dogs are motivated by food, so rewarding them with treats during training will help them learn more quickly. Never punish them for bad behavior as it will only lower their self-esteem. Instead, reward their good behaviors so that they will most likely do the same action in the future. If you're a new pet parent and do not have any idea how to train your dog, don't worry. In this age, there are various methods on how you can get help in raising your dog. Here at Smart Dog Lover, we recommend Brain Training for Dogs. Brain Training for Dogs uses a training system that took 10 years to perfect. They believe that every dog has a hidden intelligence that can only be unleashed when proper training techniques are used. Not only does their training system encourage a good attitude, but it also eliminates bad behaviors, which include aggression, jumping, digging, whining, chewing, excessive barking, impulse control, hyperactivity, ignoring commands, potty training, and so much more. 
thus helping to create a well-balanced, obedient dog that listens to you well. So get access now at Brain Training for Dogs by checking out the link in the description below. Number 4. Shih Tzus May Suffer From Health Concerns Don't get the idea wrong. Shih Tzus are healthy dogs. However, like all other purebred dogs, they may still be prone to certain health conditions. Some of these include hip dysplasia, eye problems, and patellar luxation. Another thing that you need to consider about these dogs is that due to their long coats and the shape of their face, Shih Tzus do not tolerate heat too well. Don't take them out during the hottest time of the day as they are prone to heat stroke because their panting is not enough to cool down their body temperatures. And because their respiratory system is compromised, you also wouldn't want them near a person who smokes. Lastly, these dogs aren't also good swimmers, so if you're looking for a swimming buddy, you're better off with a Labrador Retriever or a Golden Retriever. And we're already halfway through this video. How do you feel about Shih Tzu so far? Do you think they still fit your home? Let us know your thoughts later on because for now, we have a few more things to talk about this adorable breed. So let's continue. Number 5. Shih Tzus Should Not Be Exercised Too Much Depending on your lifestyle, this point may be a good or a bad thing for you. Bred to be companion dogs, Shih Tzus are not the type of dogs that you can take with you on extreme activities. They still need daily exercise though. Short walks along with play sessions indoors is enough to keep this breed healthy and fit. As mentioned, they are sensitive to heat, so make sure not to exercise them too much. To prevent boredom indoors, give them a variety of toys that they can play with. Number 6. Shedding can be problematic with Shih Tzus As mentioned earlier, Shih Tzus have a coat that needs regular brushing to keep it in its best condition. These dogs are not hypoallergenic in any way, and with them having a double coat, the hair that falls out may either stick on your furniture or it may also get caught in the outer coat. The latter is what causes their fur to get mats and tangles so often. This is the reason why others opt to trim their Shih Tzu's hair for easier maintenance. That said, if you're thinking of completely shaving your dog's hair to eliminate shedding, then we recommend not getting a dog at all. The fur protects the dog from the cold and heat. Without it, their skin will be exposed to extreme weather conditions which can negatively affect their health. Therefore, you have to accept that shedding and brushing are part of being a pet parent. Number 7. Shih Tzus Are Difficult to House Train House train is especially hard for these dogs. Because they are small, they can relieve themselves anywhere in the house. And it can be challenging to clean, especially if they did it in tight and narrow areas. And because of their stubbornness, it takes longer to potty train them compared to other dog breeds. Indeed, persistence, patience, and consistency are the keys to successfully training these dogs. Number 8. Shih Tzus Have Barking Issues Training is essential for Shih Tzus not only because they are stubborn, but also because they have barking issues. These dogs are known to be barkers, and while this is a good trait for those looking for a watchdog, you should train them when and when not to bark so that they won't cause disturbance to your neighborhood. However, if you live very close to your neighbors or you live in a home with noise restrictions, you might consider getting another dog breed. In the end, life with a Shih Tzu in your home will be easy so long as you treat them with respect and provide them with their needs. However, if you're a busy person who rarely spends time at home and you can't dedicate time to providing your dog with affection, daily brushing, and training, then the Shih Tzu will be the worst dog breed, at least for you. And there you have it, the 8 reasons Shih Tzu might just be the worst dog breed. After watching this video, do you think that they fit your home? Why or why not? 
feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. To be notified when we upload new videos, make sure you click the notification bell button. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.